sure you write all that stuff I down. I written down inside the truck, but I didn't feel like opening it up, so I just took it down on my phone. How long you been driving? Uh, nine months. Nine months? You mind if I ask you a question? Uh, all right, so you've been driving for nine months. What good advice can you give these new drivers that's coming out here? Sense of feeling, and this is how you remind me. Check one, two. What's going on, guys? What's up, LOM community? I am here up in Bondards at the Creamery picking up my trailer. First of all, let me show you. Well, I don't know if you guys could probably see it well, but look how close. Look how close they got my trailer right there, man. They expect me to get my big ass through there? No way, no way. I had to uh, pull it, you know what I'm saying, after I hooked up to it. I got about 813 miles to go to get to Ohio. Am I going home? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think I stayed out just long enough during the Christmas break and being that New Year's is like right around the corner and we're about to enter another short week, I decided to go ahead and run. I'm for real, man. I, you know, being home for five days really put a hurting on the pocket. I don't think I will be getting my bonus next month because of the fact that I took five days off, which was very good. It was very relaxed. It was very surreal but now it's time to get back to this bag man it's time to get back to this bag so let me go ahead already pre-tripped i'm already I'm, I'm ready to go at least make it to ohio today i'm doing my night run i'm back on nights y'all yes i am back on nights the goal is to get three trips on this upcoming pay can i do it maybe you'll find out in the next video i guess i don't know but right now, let's get on up out of here. And here I am at the Flying J up here in Roberts Village of Wisconsin. Yeah, last time you guys seen me, I was up in Minnesota. Who knew that I would get here to Wisconsin so fast? Today's topic, man. Let me just jump right into today's topic, man. A lot of you guys is coming out in 2019, right? Y'all about to graduate in December and in January, and you guys about to get out here on the road. Life is going to be changed for you, right? But before you get out here, you want to get all the advice, all the research, all the knowledge you can about driving the big rig, getting into the trucker's lifestyle, trying to understand the difference between the industry and just sitting behind the wheel of a truck. This is the question of the day. So I'm about to go out here and ask these drivers what little that they are because it's like about 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. And I'm about to go and ask them this. In your experience, what good advice can you give to new drivers? What, what, what advice can they give you guys? Some of these drivers are veterans. Some of these drivers are new but they got experiences that you might want to know. Let's see if, uh, let's see what they say. What's going on, brother man? Is it cold enough for you? How long you been driving out here, big man? 40 years. In your experience, what good advice can you give to new drivers out here? Be courteous. Be you courteous? Know, look out for one another and keep your eyes off your phone. That's now that's some damn good advice right there. How long you been driving out here? About five years. In your experience, what good advice can you give the new drivers? Sure, uh, most companies they have lots of trainers. So if you don't like your trainer, don't be afraid to ask for a 
here for them. Because they have plenty of them. Honestly, work for another job where you stick with this one. Ain't much. It's all the change I had in my pocket, right? But still tip none of the less. What's your name, y'all? JR. JR. Appreciate you, man. I left a left a tip. It ain't it ain't much, but I left it on a no doubt, no doubt. How long you been driving? About 25 years. In your experience, what good advice can you give to new drivers? Not too much. I mean, you know, because they got everything right at hand now. It wasn't like when I first started, you know. Uh, students uh, that you know, school that come out of school that you know pretty much got all the material right at hand. Then, what good advice can you give to new drivers? You're the captain of the ship. You make sure that you turn around and you make you are the one that's responsible. Keep cool. Keep calm. Find yourself not like in a situation. Get out of it. Get experience first. Drive slow. L listen to your instructor all the time. Careful on the roads. That's all. My man right there. He's sleeping in the uh, fuel aisle. Uh, but you got to do what you got to do. You got to get your nap in. In your experience, yeah, what I'm good if... Huh? I'm not from here. Oh, you're not from... Well, if you've been driving for a long time, you still give some good experience. Uh, what new advice can I give to new drivers? Mm-hmm. Slow down. Road conditions. Take your time. If you are not a hundred percent sure, come out and look. Don't be lazy. Come out and look. Exactly. Do I have a extra shower? You got spare? Extra shower? Yeah. Yeah, I can do that for you. Let me go in and pay for that man's shower. All right, and I always do something for my fellow drivers out here, but this is get back, you know what I'm saying? My fellow driver right here, you needed a shower. I didn't have no credits on my, on my car because I already used the last one, but what the hell? It's, it's, all about, it's all about the spirit, right? What's your name, brother man? My name is Jeff. Jeff? Yeah, Jeff. Huh? I drive for ASL. How long you been driving? I've been driving for 25 years now. 25 years, man. But let me ask you this. In your experience, man, in your 25 years experience, what good advice can you give to these new drivers out here? Pay attention. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. The best advice I can give you guys right now, out here today, is like the guy just went past us and say, pay attention and keep the Keep your mind open. Look, look around and everything, because you, you don't. Today, people just they don't care and everything and all that. And just you know, really, you just got to pay attention. Just and just, just keep keep your eyes open. Peel. Look around. That's what's up. That's what's up, brother man. Thank you for what you do out here, man. man here you, you go. Didn't have to do that, man. No, no. Wait, wait. Wrong one. There you go. <laughs> No, nah, man, I, you know, I, I wanted to, you know what I'm saying? This is my card right there. Uh -huh. You know, look me up on YouTube. Uh -huh. All right, now look me up on YouTube. You know, if somebody could do that for me, you know, it's very much appreciated. So I appreciate what you do, man. Man, I really thank you, man. God bless you. Bro. Thank you, thank you. And Happy New Year. That's what's up. I mean, that's, that's what's missing out here. Courteous, you know what I'm saying? Helping one another out out here. That's what's truly missing in this uh industry right now how long you been driving out here Half and on since in your years of driving out here what good advice can you give to some of these new drivers out here slow down slow down go five miles an hour slower than the speed limit when you're taking curves mm -hmm. um so much so much i know my trainer well a friend of mine he He's had three Take. people, and one couldn't read. One, they're just, they don't get the concept. And you know what I think, is I think every person mm -hmm. alive needs to come in a truck for a day, for whatever, just to get the feel of what it's like 
to drive a new commercial vehicle. Exactly. How, how long it takes to stop, how long it takes to whatever, and then in the winter time, oh my gosh, that's even worse. Yeah, I well, don't know what else to tell you. I mean, there's a well, lot you told me enough. That. Slow down. That's what y'all need to do. I think that is about the best advice any of us truck drivers could give you out here. Slow down. Always drive as much as you can. Careful. That's number one. Secondly, always drive according to the situation that you see. That's the only two I agree with. Check me out on YouTube, y'all. Yo. Oh, yeah. Thank All right, you. I appreciate it. I'll be heading, I'll be heading up there a little bit later on. Oh, I like, I like this blue mat. Oh yeah, I like that. Ooh, and that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Two good deeds for this morning. You know what I'm saying? Always looking out, always giving back, being appreciative. That's, that's what I try to be. You guys be appreciative by me to me by buying me coffee and, and, and everything, why not pay it for it? You know what I'm saying? Why not help a driver that needs a shower? Why not help the, the attendant out by, by hooking them up? You know what I'm saying? That's what I do because you guys make that happen. You guys buy me coffee all the time. You guys subscribe. You guys watch the videos and make this channel what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yo, on my way to 4,000. Help me get there. You know what I'm saying? Share, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. But we're not done yet. We're not done yet. This is just one stop of many. I'll come back to you later on and see where I post up next. Hey, what's going on? Lockout men. And I'm here at South Beloit, the Flying J. But I am here, though, taking my 30 minute break right quick so while i'm doing my 30 i decided to go out here and pull these drivers what good advice can you give to these new drivers out here i mean there's a lot of drivers coming out here right new class that's coming out in 2019 there's a lot of advices out here that many different drivers can give you not just from me how long you guys been driving i've been driving 25 years yeah. what good advice can you give to new drivers uh, okay. Make sure, yeah, I, I find that a lot of the new drivers don't find, seem to see the significance in uh, CB the and CB, map. the maps. They're depending way too much on the modern technology, and it's not always helpful in certain areas. I mean, especially in the northeast. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, okay. Uh, that is just you know, you have to hone your craft out here. This is. It's more to it than just holding the stern. I would just say be aware of your surroundings. Okay. You know, um, especially for women. Yeah. It's is still not as easy to navigate through the system for them. All right. What good advice can you give to these new drivers out here? Read the signs. What good advice can you give to these new truckers out here? Don't do it. <laughs> Keep a good following distance and stay alert. <laughs> All right. That would be the best. Safe. Say what? Safety the first. Safe. Safe. Yep. There you go. Okay. The wasn't good, man. So far, mm -hmm. so far here in Beloit, drivers say stay safe. What good advice can you give the new drivers out here? Be safe. Do this. Time management is essential. Okay. And checking that route out before you leave. And when you start to get fuel, where they get stuck out here on this highway, mm -hmm. you go ahead and take your 30 minute break. Get that fuel in there, right click that thing off, and then take your break here. <coughs> so too many drivers stuck out on the highway where they should be. Exactly. Go ahead and take that break. You know, exactly. About three hours into your trip. All right. Take your fuel, turn that. From a lady driver right there, she says definitely check your fuel. Just hold it like that. There you go. Yeah, I'm going to tell them that the new driver for the semi, they have to take care about the road. The people driving like a small car, remember they are not driver, they are sick people, they are student driver, they don't know how you drive the, the cars. When you drive the semi, you need to be take care of everything coming, any situation. 
front of you. So the other thing was, when you see, you have to make a lot of distance, not to go close to the other trucks. At least you have, when you, when you see the small car in front of you, give you like a three car or six car in front of you. So when every danger is coming, make sure the second one, when you see the snow blower into the road, make sure you have a space right there. You cannot see that when they drive, they blow the snow. It's gonna be like a foggy or a smog. So my small car behind him, you're not gonna see that car. So that's how I will give him advice for me. How long you been driving? I ain't doing no survey. What good advice can you give to these new drivers out here? Man, we can stand here and talk all day. God damn it, man. <laughs> my, my biggest advice mm -hmm. is to, to make sure this is really something you really want to do. And pay attention. You're not as good a driver as you think you are. Slow down. What good advice can you give to these new drivers out here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really don't know. Just stay patient. Don't get rushed. If somebody tells, you know, gets on you, don't let them rush you. And listen listen to your sixth sense. Like at this time of year, it's winter time. If you don't feel comfortable, get off the road. Oh, then you'll probably be a perfect candidate for the vitamin water, uh, for the vitamin water campaign. They offering $100,000 that you can stay off your smartphone for a year. You think you can do it? I don't even have a smartphone, yeah. My phone, my phone, your phone would probably make four of mine. Basically, don't, don't be complacent. I'm driving for about eight years, okay? Eight years? Yeah, and you know why I'm out here? It was at this moment because that he I knew. love Jesus. And you know what? I want to share him with the world. And today, my friend, is your day. I want, I want to wish God's best for you, my friend. What's your best advice that you can give to these new drivers out here? Pray. Have faith in God and pray. Thank you. Have faith in God and pray. We got to pray just to make it today. I said what good advice can you give to these new drivers out here? Don't go to truck driving school. You say don't do the schools? The schools, they used to be pretty good. Now, they don't teach them nothing. I got you. Um, <laughs> Okay. It is cold as hell out here. And he got on some flip flops. He. You, you want to be speak Somalian? We just. The safety is number one. Nah, she's not a few stacks. And. Uh, if you know where you're going. Be careful. What good advice can you give these new drivers out here? Put me on the spot. Be patient. Be patient and. Uh, Try not to get in a big hurry. That's hard to do with these red kind of logs. I think the biggest thing that can be said is be patient. Be patient. I think that's about, about There's a whole list of things, but being patient is going to be the biggest one. All right. All right. If you guys have some good advice that you want to give the new drivers out here, let me know. Let me know in the comments below. TA, here in Gary, Indiana. Man, you don't see that right there? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And uh, y'all want to know something else different? This right here. Yeah, this whole side used to be nothing but truck parking right here. What good advice can you give to new drivers? Well, good. Find something else. You say find something else. Bury someone rich. <laughs> That's going to be hard to do. The new drivers, be patient. Safety first, be patient. Don't look for the money right now. Mm -hmm. Look for the experience. The money going to come. I've been at it 33 years. I'm not sure. In Quebec City, huh? Oh, okay. It's the same, same in the U.S. What good advice can you give the new drivers out here? For one, stay off their cell phone. No be texting. And watch the trailer. Most, most of them just drive the truck. I see them going down the road, they just driving the truck like it's a truck. Mm -hmm. And some trailers be uh, swerving. Tracking. 
or whatever, it ain't on me watching that trailer, man. I don't know, patience. Patience is the answer to everything in this industry. Patience is a good is a good advice. Don't listen to your dispatch. Don't let them push you. Stay in your comfort zone. I would say stick to your plan. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And sometimes these drivers will give you some crazy advice mm -hmm. and have you veering all the way out to the side. Mm -hmm. And now you you kind of you get yourself in a situation where you might be a bit how can I say you get yourself locked into a situation. And you know, as you know, with trucking, once you start something, it's not it's not that easy just to jump around. Once exactly. you do it, you got to kind of commit to a certain extent. Not unless you're just one of those people who don't care. So I would say, kind of stick to your plan and kind of kind of base it off that, and then just kind of you know maneuver in the direction you want to go. Okay. Not unless you just see something that's just so it's so lucrative you can't resist. But outside of that, if you want to run hard and save. You know, X, Y, Z amount of money. Mm -hmm. Do that. You All know right. what I'm saying? Make sure you got an end game. But if you want to like have a family, stay home. Don't let nobody get you get to let you get caught up in the commitment to some other stuff. And then it might be five years from now before you can work your situation around to work out that way. Okay. Or to make sense for you to do it again without just putting you in some kind of financial hole. All That's right. All right, man. I appreciate that. Thank you. Can't remember the damn question. Here we go. In your experience. What good advice can you give to these new drivers that's coming out here? Pay attention, that's all I can say. Oh, when you're parking and you're backing up, don't pay attention to anybody else but the parking spot. Once you get nervous, once you try to try to rush because people are watching you, it's gonna cause an accident and they're not gonna get in trouble, you are. All right, good enough. Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> Never say that there ain't no cute truck drivers out here because she's cute. Woo! It is cold out there. Damn it, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. But hey, I'm finishing up this video. So thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share the video. Also, while you're at it, why don't you hit that bell on the way out and grab me some coffee? Yes, I love coffee. I love tea more. But if you want to give me some coffee, I like it. The link is in the description and in the comments below. But what do you guys think, man? What, what advice do you have for these new drivers that's coming out into this game? You know what I'm saying? What good advice? So if this video comes out after New Year's, Happy New Year. Happy 2019 to you guys. Let's make that happen. Let's go after this bag in 2019. Let's do it together. Help your boy get up to 10,000. That's the goal for 2019, 10,000. Right now I'm at 35. So thank you very much subscribers for helping me get up to 35. I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, making your comments heard, talking to your boy via email, leaving me DMs in my, in my Instagram. Thank you very much. If I can answer anything, if you have any questions or anything like that, and I can answer it for you, I will definitely hit you back, probably make a video response, probably give you a call, probably talk to you, you know what I'm saying? Find out. Ask me a question. I'm gone. You guys take it easy. Once again, happy 19. And thank you for making my channel a success for 2018. I'll come at you in another video. Peace. Baby, once I'm gone, I ain't coming back but you gon' have to settle with another man But when you realize, don't be running back